we are finally here. All the fish is in the D-strategy component that I will just show you. The initial methods under the auxiliary method separator are just methods that perform different actions like loading and saving the JSON credentials, creating the API objects we will use, converting the outputs to data frames, like you can see here, or just generating orders. The methods under the Darwin API requests are methods that directly call API functions, for example, to list investor accounts, positions, or close actual Darwin positions that we hold. As you will notice, all the methods hold a similar structure. The deal deal happens in the execute strategy method. Let me wrap up with all of this and let's open up the execute strategy method. As I previously said, the D asset universe and D model classes will be inherited on the D strategy class, as you can see in its constructor right up here. That means that they will get all the methods that the other classes have and that I can call them directly. The idea of multiple inheritance is to maintain an organized structure and classes with optimal code density. Returning back to this execute strategy method, you can see how I list investor accounts right here and then create the candle portfolio of different dollars and symbols. Afterwards, with the historical data and today's last quote I previously appended, I input the data frame into the Generate Allocations Dictionary, in which I hold the OLPS score model. The following method calls are a little bit more complex, so I will create a separate video for each of them. See you in the next tutorial.